Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, with Shirley Zemko, who usually hosts on Thursdays, it is eight o'clock in the morning for them. And for those of us on this time line, it is 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. Um, this is a special, a special hour. Um, Susan felt it would be a good time for us to get together as um, as family. It's not a family watch over over our household and family. It's for the watchman to share. And Susan was saying, as we are at war, we do not need a break to refresh. Uh, sorry, we do <laughs> we do need a break to refresh and build one another up. And we are so grateful for you coming on board and to join us for this hour that we pray and encourage one another. It has been a highly strategic week. And just want to thank you all for getting involved with the 24 hours. Many of you were on from the beginning with um, Beirut House of Prayer. And then we took over um, in the Global Watch International Prayer Room. We took over at 8 p.m. Jerusalem time and finished this morning Thursday at 8 a.m. Jerusalem time so it's been an incredible an incredible time and there's a lot of stuff happening out there and people are wondering is this good is this you know God knows he knows and this is the time for us to just hand it all over the Lord says cast your cares upon me for I care for you my yoke is easy and my burden is light so I'm just going to take us into a song. Uh, those of you who were on with us earlier, I it was the song I played in the final hour for our um, for our uh, 24 hour Shields of Iron Lebanon watch. So let me put this on. It's God of Israel by an Israeli, um, an Arab, and an American. Right, what a beautiful, a beautiful song. And I'd just like to start off with a, a scripture from um, Colossians 2, verse 2 to 3. And then I'm going to ask Shirley Zemko <laughs> to open up in prayer for us. I'm just going to read the scripture. And Shirley, if you can open up in prayer for us. It's from Colossians 2. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. I am contending for you that your hearts will be wrapped in the comfort of heaven and woven together into love's fabric. This will give you access to all the riches of God as you experience the revelation of God's great mystery, Christ. For our spiritual wealth is in him, like hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. Heaven's wisdom and endless riches of revelation knowledge. Abba, there is none like you in all of heaven and earth. There is none like you. We thank you, Yeshua, that truly there are the riches, Lord, that have yet to be even discovered. But we thank you and praise you for the revelation of who you are through your word. The revelation of who you are, Lord God, is you give each and every one the unique and personal encounters with your presence, Lord. And we thank you and praise you, Father, for the last, I want to thank you, Lord, for the last 24 hours that um, we were all together. And when uh, many of us were on the Beirut call, Lord, the presence was so strong. And at times, Lord, it was overwhelming with your goodness, Lord. And I just thank you, Father, this morning for everyone that um, has been called with according to your purpose and according to your plan and according to your timing. You are a, a God of the Moed. You are a God, Lord, of the Moedim, the appointed times. And we are living in an appointed time even now. And we're just so grateful, Lord, to be a part of what you are doing and the plan that is unfolding Lord, we thank you and praise you um, that you are working in the nations and it is painful in the natural to see, but it is the most exciting time to be alive, to see the word of God come up off the page. And in reality, we are walking the pages of scripture. 
And we thank you and praise you, Father, that you've revealed the end from the beginning. And we thank you, Father, for the victory that you've already won through your son. We thank you for the blood of the lamb that will never lose its power. And we thank you and praise you, Father, for unity in the body where there is strength and there is encouragement. And we thank you for your joy, even this morning, because, Father, your joy makes us complete in our joy. We thank you and praise you, Father, that we are strengthened. We thank you, Father, this morning that um, we live with an anticipation of what you are going to do what you are in the midst of. And Father, we thank you that you are in our midst this morning in the name of Yeshua. Amen, amen, thank you. You know, there are two people that I know when I call on them, they are going to just bring these powerful praise and that is both Shirley and her husband, Bill. Just have these this anointing to pray as many of you do, many of you do. So we're just so grateful to have you, to have you on. So. This time, what is on your heart in the sense of not, we, we, we don't want to talk about the news for this moment. So, so you're allowed to close it, put it in a box to the side, just momentarily, and then just take some time to refresh, just to drink deeply of the, what the Holy Spirit is wanting to pour into us. Does anyone have a, a, a scripture on refreshing or strengthening or building? I've got one from Hebrews uh, 13, and I'm reading from the Amplified Classic. Now may the God of peace, who is the author and giver of peace, who brought again from among the dead our Lord Jesus, by the blood that sealed, ratified the everlasting agreement, covenant, testament. Verse 21, strengthen, complete, perfect, and make you what you ought to be and equip you with everything good that you may carry out his will while he himself works in you and accomplishes that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, the Messiah, to whom be the glory forever and ever, to the ages of the ages. Amen. So be it. And yes, um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, Petra has just written, I'm very thankful to be on the wall with you all. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, scripture is rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. That is Psalm 97, verse 12. Feel free to unmute. We're not going to do hands. Everything is so relaxed. Then I'll step so, uh, out there and thank you for the commendation, sister. And by all means, Hebrews 10, 24 um, is very meaningful. And how that out of the TLV, let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good deeds. And so at uh, Maranatha Fellowship, right down the road with regard of prayer for Israel and now this hour right now and communications taking place. Uh, it's such a blessing to have it be that we are uh, encouraging one another and not necessarily at work seeking to make disciples or witness but rather the psalm 133 being brought into fruition as it were um beholding how good and pleasant it is along the lines of these doors having opened and encouraging one another and being stirred refreshed built up strengthened in our inner man and gaining headway uh, as individuals and collectively corporately um that's so good and it is in the mix of the warfare as it were the pleasantries of joy and really having solid footing foundational footing equilibrium 
being sober mindedness uh, of being of sober mindedness and yet uh, the uh, truth spirit of truth leading us into all the truth the door is opening up where that as a nucleus or core group or critical mass it can be with a few and then the um, overall view of globally the lord's body his each and every member doing its part in love it's an awesome sort of uh thing for us to be witnesses as to the validity of his faithfulness that he gives us testimonies as to how that particularly thinking of men locking arms and shield to shield but yet going forth like with the arrow or with the sword or plur in plurality uh, swords, arrows, but so the uh, scripture had been recent, recently very meaningful in that we can all communicate with one another. Sometimes it's admonishment, but it indeed, I believe it's a time for it to be that we lay down of our lives, which isn't a great sacrifice, and yet the blood is crying out from under the altars. It has been, and he stores our tears in his flask, in his bottle. So different times and different seasons, I'm grateful for the way that the uh, expanse of communications is coming about in these days to where that, I word it, our world is getting smaller and smaller, and yet it's in God's redemptive plan. And so it's with gratefulness indeed, uh, that I'll say I'm I'm truly thankful that we are thankful. And so I want to thank you for this portion of the body of Messiah. And so uh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. I mean, that was, that was, what does Susan say? That was like drinking out of a fire hydrant. There was just so much coming in. Thank you for that. Well, very encouraging. Very encouraging. Let's just take a moment, just let's just quieten our hearts for a moment. And Father, we just come before you right now, Lord. Lord, we bow our hearts before you. We take every burden, Lord, every weight. We take it off and we just lay it down. And we look to you, Lord, and we we are saying that we love you, we adore you, we worship you, we glorify and magnify you. So Lord, what is on your heart? There are several people on in this watch, in the Zoom room. Lord, who needs a word? Who needs that encouragement? Highlight them to us, Lord. Lord, put your words in our mouth. Let it not be just from reading or just from knowing a head knowledge. No, Lord, let it be in our spirit. Holy Spirit, just lead us. Because I do, I just, you know, friends, I have a sense that there are one or two, maybe more, that are really, really needing right now a hug, it almost like, a, you know, like a virtual hug. And the way that we can give a hug, in a sense, is, is just to pray a blessing over them. Did the Lord highlight anyone to you? Is it okay if I share? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, and I'm in, we have lots of guests because it's Thanksgiving. I'm on Pacific Standard Time and I'm there's a three and a half year old that could wake up any minute and I'm kind of responsible for that. So uh yeah, I feel very privileged to be part of this family and I have been praying with this family since um December of twenty twenty one. And um Rick Writing's teaching about the third heaven, you know, that it was an hour teaching, but what really struck me was about the third heaven. And I just uh, came to a humble realization that I have a very simple faith, but it's very steady and strong. And really, since I've been very young, 
uh, I just wanted to have a pure heart to be able to see God. <laughs> and, you know, that's not in the literal sense. Uh, but I'm 67 years old, and I feel like I still have a pretty simple faith out of the third heaven. And one thing I remember uh, in that song about I see the Lord seated on the throne, 9-11-2001, our family had been in New York City shortly before the towers fell, and we uh, we had attended Times Square Church. We heard David Wilkerson talk about them preparing for something that was going to happen. Everything was canceled at Times Square Church in that month of August because they were, in some sense, they were, they just were to prepare for something that was going to happen. And they, ha you know, had all sorts of sandwiches and stuff ready before 9-11 happened. And then when 9-11 happened, and we're here in Northeastern Washington in a small town, I've been a teacher here for 30, year 30 years, unbelievable. We're a very international family. We live in a very small town. But uh, I couldn't take in or I chose not to take in what was going on in New York City. And I went right to that, to Isaiah 6. And that song had just been popular at the time about I see the Lord seated on the throne. And uh, yeah, um, you know, simplicity can be a real blessing. <laughs> Faith like a child can be a real blessing. And uh, that's basically what I want to share. And then yesterday, you know, I've been pretty good about being muted during everything because my life is just real different. I'm kind of on the go. I teach uh, 260 high school students online and it's very fast paced. Uh, but I was in charge yesterday morning and not in a bad way, but of this three and a half year old. And I got unmuted during that intense you know, I know it was really anointed, but that was an intense time in Beirut. I felt so bad, but it happened. And I just had to receive that. So being, having a faith like a child is really uh, a blessing. I have, you know, I've always had a ministry with young people and not just high school students, all sorts of, of young people. So you know, really, I want to just thank everybody. I feel it's a privilege to be part of this team. I now feel um, I'm just at a stage in life. So my, my husband of 43 years has been estranged the past two, and he has returned home, but it's a real fine line where he's at. I don't even think he realizes the darkness that he's been walking in. And um that's just kind of, I've held back, but mm. I think, I think there's going to be a real healing in his life, a real renewing, mm. and yeah. we're going to be walking forward now. Um, I mean, mm. I already told him I'm going to Israel because that's just what I want to do, <laughs> but it's in God's timing. It's not in my timing, but I think he realizes that I'm not waiting for him. I don't think he realizes the darkness he's in, but we're now in Christian coaching. So it's all a good thing. That is uh, a good thing. But, now, Anne, won't you yeah. pray into that for us? Because it's okay. a, it's an hour of Thanksgiving, of, of blessing one another and speaking. Won't you um, do a short prayer of refreshing over everyone that's here, please? Dear Lord, you know, I, I just remember I didn't want to take in what happened on 9-11. I wanted to be seated in your throne room of grace and mercy. We don't even know what that's like because we're so filled with ourselves, with what's going on outside. We have condemnation. Lord, I do pray for anyone on this call that lives with condemnation because I know that's very much where my husband's at. And he was raised in a missionary family, blah, blah, blah. But um, the relationship that he did not have with his earthly father, who did, his father did a lot of heavenly good, um, but that connection wasn't there. So Peter, mm. 
feels very um, unworthy. So, Father, yeah. we pray into everyone's worthiness Amen. on this call. And then just bring restoration. Every day, yes, bring restoration. And we Amen. thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Diane. You're muted, Shirley. <laughs> I'm busy talking away. Um, we've been muting ourselves. This has been the, the, the hour of muting, I think. Um, yes. Uh, who has something on their heart? Maybe a scripture, uh, something for someone. And I, I just want to emphasize, we're halfway through. Let's focus on refreshing. It's a time of refreshing and a time of recalibrating, a, a, a time of just receiving the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Lord. There's a lady I'd like to bless on here tonight. Oh, go ahead. And she won't know it's coming. Angelica from Sydney. She is okay. always faithfully on these calls. She never prays a lot. She never says a lot. But when she does, it's profound. She is a blessing to all of us. And I know she's been blessed herself recently by going to um, a march in Sydney in support of Israel. And it really blessed her. She met some uh, Jewish people that she'd never met before. And she was blessed by that. And I just want to bless her because of her beautiful heart for the Lord and for your people, Israel, Lord. Bless Angelica. Bless her tonight, Lord. May the Lord bless her and keep her. May the Lord make his face shine upon her and be gracious to her. May you, Lord, lift up your countenance upon her and give her your shalom peace. Amen. Thank you. Bless you, Angelica. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, Lynn. Do, do any of you know Gina um, Goldston? She's one of the intercessors for... Um, Chuck Pierce and um, a couple of the well-known um, prophets. And she released this this week. And I, I, I love this. It says, she says, this is not the time to quit, retreat, or grow weary. This is the time to wipe your eyes, set your face forward, focus on Jesus, put on and lace up your shoes of peace, and walk out the next chapter of your life. God has got more in store for you. I'll say amen to that. Because um, when Sue asked for the Australian side to rise up for this watch, for the sword of iron from our hemisphere to fill in for worship, I saw the spreadsheet really going, no one's filled up and, you know, and a burden was rising in my heart. And um, I, I sought the Lord and the Lord said, why don't you put your name? And he was actually challenging me to step into worship. So I know what I do in my quiet place and I'm very comfortable with that. And but to bring it out into the open was really stepping out of my comfort zone. And I'm a very private person that way, and I really like my secret place, put it this way. So um this was my first time, as those who are with me on Canberra Decoration know I haven't stepped into any worship on the platform at all anywhere else. This was my first time. But I also sensed in my spirit that this was a significant um, assignment of heaven. So um, I could really sense um, as a leader, Sue's perception of that 12 hour to be taken by the global watch was something that God was giving this, this weight. It is a weighty, I felt the weight of it. And so I thank God for Sue and for you and for for um, Shirley who 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 did the 
the tech watch and for me, Margaret, all who assisted with the tech. And so I just want to thank God for Global Watch for this platform that allows us to step into um, the from the comfort zone to 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 be free to worship God. And um, I can't tell you how grateful I am for the opportunity. But even more, I want to bless. A week ago, I would not have known Nada Karam, who came on today, uh, who's a Lebanese lady. So um, she 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 left a call because we support the uh, voice of the martyrs as a ministry. And, she, and I had a voice message that left said, um, you know, just if I needed any prayer or anything as a family. So I felt prompted to call her and cut a long story short, we got talking. And when this call about Lebanon and uh, praying the Southern borders came up, I thought from the ends of the earth, here's a woman God is bringing, perhaps I must invite her. And it is just incredible what you know God made happen. So um, the unraveling of the father's plans and which we are part of, I'm just so grateful to God. I'm just so grateful to be together with each one of us as family because we all bring our parts and it adds so beautifully. So I just want to say thank you, Father, for giving us all uh, new courage to step into uh, because you're always saying come up higher and the season of drawing near to you and coming in unity, coming in love, enlarges God. Whatever has been poured out today, I pray a refreshing and an infilling for everyone. And Lord, we just want to bless one another because you said we need to be rooted and grounded. Bless Lebanon and that, that song, the God of Israel and, and how it would be so connected that in this season, you're releasing a song with a, a, a Lebanese and a Christian and, uh, and an Israeli coming, a Jewish person coming together. That's your heart. We want to know your heart, Father. That's our pursuit. That's our pursuit. And thank you for bringing us, giving us your heart to hear, your eyes and ears to understand, and leadership that follows and hears the Holy Spirit. So I bless Global Watch. I bless all my brothers and sisters. I bless the gifts that they are in you and i bless and thank you that you're taking us from glory to glory in jesus name amen amen thank you molly thank you for sharing and yes i missed that I, I it was probably the middle of the night for us so i didn't get to um view that but i have heard you on occasion when you just had a song that you felt that you wanted to release so that was amazing root from germany says yes happy thanksgiving to you all Ephesians 1, 7 is the watchword for today. And Rhoda says, oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 136, 1. And then Rhoda says, blessings, Utah, for your faithfulness on these calls and your joyful attitude. And I agree. Please unmute Utah and share with us. Yeah, thank you. I'm really enjoying and the Lord, yeah, the Lord has me on going to the watches and he's, he's teaching me and, um, and I'm so blessed with everybody. So thankful. I'm so thankful for everybody. And I just love to be with everybody and to learn um, one from another. And, um, and um, um, what is on my heart, I, I really feel the Lord, um, is appearing to us in his loving kindness. And um, I've, myself, I feel, you know, the more tougher or harder it gets, um, and but the more he's coming with this loving kindness and with this sweetness. Uh, we have been with, um, with a few people in Munich where Hitler started the movement and we were standing there two weeks ago and we, we uh, reversed it. And there was such a loving kindness of a sweetness of spirit. It was unbelievable in the hardest places. 
And um, what is my 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 prayer is that we uh, we really encounter th uh, this sweetness of the Lord, and allow Him to um to come into our hearts to um um deposit this kind His kindness, His grace, His who He is. And um, Father, I ask you to help us to um to open our hearts. Um, give us a hunger for knowing you more, being with you, not working. You don't want work camps. You want us to be with you. And out of that, you just walk along with us. Father, um, without you helping us, we cannot. But I ask you for that, for each one of us, then, that we uh, walk with you. And in your sight, um, Yeshua, we are your bride. And I ask you for intimacy on this i was on all these watches today and um and i really felt like um there was such a sweetness also in um lebanon yeah but also in ours we there, there was a sweetness and um and i felt like the lord is really um imparting trust in this intimacy trusting me trust me trust me and um and he's he's building father thank you building this child we had this child like trust this being like a child trusting abba and um that the root that he carries us his everlasting arms he, he carries us true father help us to allow you to carry you help us to really stay on your heart hearing and listening and um father um and and yeah keep us um really on your heart and praying from this place and not burning out Lord and that it's always an intimacy and I'm not saying I'm there I'm just screaming so much but I, I my heart is to pray that for everybody of us and it's his grace thank you Lord amen amen thank you Yuta thank you so so much I want to bring some of these messages in the chat because so often they go unnoticed and so let's go to where are we yes 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 I'm looking for Rhoda says blessings Margaret for being grounded in faith and bringing stability on the calls and um yes Margaret we I think I'm just seeing people nodding nodding away there yeah yeah Susan Rao has just posted a message in the different um, signal groups. I'm going to read it. And then um, we're going to go to Mary Z, who asked to say something. And then I think Root from Germany will also say something. Susan says, it is Thanksgiving here in the USA and time for families across the nation to gather and give thanks to God and for one another. It is a time of reflection, joy, family and friends. We are so thankful for the global watchmen who are faithfully standing their watch and building their ramparts, for there will be a day the fulfillment of Isaiah 52, 8 and 62 will come. Preparation is underway. Though with family, we listened in to most parts of the sound, the trumpets and shields of iron. You must know the anointing was strong throughout. We are in faith that there will be much fruit. Thank you to all who participated and gave of their time. Preparation and gifts that blessed us all, but most importantly, gave honor to the Lord. Sending this to you with deep hearts of gratitude. And she, I'm not going to read the scripture, but she puts Colossians 1, 9 to 18. Mary Z from Australia, please unmute and share what's on your heart. First of all, it's just a pleasure to have joined Global Watch. And it's always so good to hear people pray and to go to the different watches and learn what is on the heart of the people of the different nations. And I just so enjoy hearing people speaking in their native tongue. It is just so beautiful. And if you listen in the spirit, even if we don't know what they're talking about, you can agree with them in the spirit because 
the whole, it's the Holy Spirit flowing through them. You have a clue. And I know, I know one day, and I didn't realize I had my mic open. And Esther from Israel spoke and she prays in her Jewish language. And I just said, yes, I agree with that. And I saw people looking at me thought, is she Jewish? <laughs> but we can agree in spirit. So I just want to read this word that the Lord gave me as encouragement for all of us. My beloved people, here I am with you. I am in all you do. I am the very beat of your heart, for that is where I dwell. You are my jewels in my crown. I am crowned with many crowns. Your, your devotion to my heart's desire comforts my heart, my beloved bride. Take my hand and walk with me into your future. I know what the future holds and your future is glory filled. So take heart and take comfort in my love. My love encompasses you and leads you forth into the fulfillment of your destiny. My love cushions anything the enemy would throw at you. My glory covers you and builds walls around you, preventing you from falling or despairing. So take heart and be encouraged for I am your strength of heart. I am your encouragement. I love you everlastingly, and you are forever in my grip, and I will never let you go. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, Mary. Thank you so much. I just want to, with, with Mary sharing that, I, I just want to, mentioned you know there are times we're on the watch and a familiarity can creep in where we hear people almost every watch or every time we must just guard our hearts from that because the lord is speaking through people and thessalonians does talk about not quenching the holy spirit and we can quench it just with our attitude or just batting it away or dismissing it so we must just just be mindful of that and and we are all different if, if you just look at the the disciples how different they were in character and personality you get that and calling you get that on the watch as well and so it is it is about making room and um, making allowances for people to be who they are and to make those mistakes I'm sure many of you can talk about a time where your um, microphone was unmuted and you said the wrong thing. <laughs> I had our dogs barking one time. The dogs were barking and I, I thought, oh, wait, shut up. <laughs> and the microphone was on. Now, what happens is we've got these um, background controls, you know, and on Zoom, you can set it for... Um, um, little um, mouse clicking and keyboard clicking or you can do it for big noises and nobody could hear the dogs but they just <laughs> oh my goodness so yes um there's i think that's another time we can actually have a giggle about the things we've done on zoom and and you know where we thought nobody was watching and then we see that our camera is actually on you know so thank you thank you for that mary um, Molly says here, thank you for your encouragement, Jennifer. I'm so grateful for the hosting of the Holy Spirit on the Global Watch. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I spoke with someone yesterday for about two and a half to three hours. It's somebody in Israel. And I had sp spoken a prophetic word over them and a word of knowledge. And they just wanted to spend a bit more time unpacking that. And this person, the way that they see the Global Watch is completely different to the way I see the Global Watch. 
this person comes on and is energized and is, I'm not saying I'm not energized, but they come on and they get fed and they get, you know, invigorated and, and empowered and strengthened and pulled up. You know, we talk about these things, but this person was saying how much that they get out of the global watch. So yes, let's just remember what the global watch is all about. And we can, we, you know, we're tired, we are, we, we are weary and it's okay to be like that. And thank goodness for Susan giving us moments where we can just catch our breath. breath. Okay. Ruth had her hand up a little bit earlier, so I'm not quite sure. I, I'm, there's messages going through. Some have been sent to me directly. I'm sorry if I miss them. Um, Alison from Perk. Molly, you're getting lots of um, wonderful words. She says, I think you did extremely well, Molly. I could see you were overwhelmed to begin with, but you overcame and the anointing took over and you were up there in the spirit. Thank you for stepping out of your comfort zone and taking up us with you in the spirit. You are a blessing. And Rhoda says, laughing at our faults <laughs> releases joy <laughs> rather than judgment. Agreed, agreed. Amen. Um, Ruth, you unmuted. Are you going to share something? I, Go ahead. I just want to read some uh, some verses from Ephesians 1, where the watch word is for today. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We can take it as for us. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. It's unbelievable what we can <laughs> what he shows us and what he gives us. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And then the watchword to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. In him we have the redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, and according to the riches of his grace, and which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. We have everything which keeps makes us so noble as uh, we come in the noblesse of him. We, he grants us this. We we in a normal ma uh, mankind, but he gives us this beautiful um, standing. Thanks Amen. to him. Amen. Thank you, Ruth. That is lovely. Thank you. All of you have been sharing such precious things today. Thank you. This is great. Margaret Greck. Yes, I would like to share a word for William Warren from Guam. And it's from Psalm 112, verse 7. And I believe this is for you, and I believe this is who you are. He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. I know you're new to the Global Watch, but I've seen you very faithful, and I believe the Lord has made you very firm in him. So I want to bless you that uh, you think you are not seen, but you are seen, and God really knows your heart. God bless you, William. And thank you, everyone, for for mm -hmm. The great experience on Global Watch. Thank you, Shirley. You're amazing. <laughs> Blessings. Amen. Amen. Margaret. Amazing, Margaret. Yes. Hi, can I? May I? Oh, can please. I speak? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Go ahead, William. The Global Watch has been a real blessing for me. Um, I've been searching. And God knows I've been searching for the truth and it's in a word. 
but I've never seen something so organized until I came onto the Global Watch, especially speaking about the fivefold ministry. Um, the, the I spoke about the river, and I'm beginning to understand a little bit more. To me, it's like um, the Global Watch for me is the river, right? And the internet, which allows us to me to go with you to the different nations is like the sea, you know? So um, God has blessed me to be on this journey with you, you know? And I thank him every daily when the hour comes for us to get on the watch for me to be a part of it. You know, I've been learning the, um, the apostles are here, the prophets, the, the evangelists, the, um, the pastors and the teachers, everyone is here. You know, and I've been learning so much from you. You're all like my big brothers and sisters, you know, and um, I just thank God for the opportunity to be a part of the Global Watch. Amen. Amen. Thank you, William. Yes, bless you. Thank you. Jean. Yes, thank you. I also uh, like to thank everyone and also share how I just uh, uh, receive, feel that uh, the Global Watch is like a playground. <laughs> it's a playground of nations. I feel precious that we all come from different nations and just that connection that we, when we come, when we gather together, as Sue said, we bring our nation, our land before the Lord. And, and it's just precious for me to be in different nations and to connect with brothers and sisters um, from across the globe, this global watch. Um, and um, yeah, just, just having a deeper level of of what family and community means in in the midst of getting all our connection and technical <laughs> um, floors together, um, and I also just want to bless. Um, it's my first day here um, in in Egypt and Middle East, and such a a blessing. Yes, it was a journey of trusting the Lord in this watch, and. Um, and, and to bless the Global Watch for the heart of the Middle East. Lord, so I, I want to pray, Abba, I thank you, Lord, just so much for the Global Watch family and how we have been able to practice a springboard of your love in this playground of nations, Abba, where we are entering with childlike faith, Lord, and that we glean from each other and that we hopefully not pull toys from each other but share and and just and just bathe in your love lord and in such yeah corporate anointing lord that you release in the global watch abide just bless lord global watch with this heart for the middle east and and what this means in this season of praying um for israel sorry to <laughs> but lord it's it's all about yeah, Israel and the Middle East and the nations, Lord. So so I thank you for each time that we gather, Lord, however serious, however strong the battlefield, let us not forget your love and and who you are, that that yeah, you you walk before us in all of our battles, Lord, and and you are our commander in chief. So we we you are our shepherd. You are our shepherd, Lord. And I want to read from um, Isaiah 26, Lord, and, and just feeling this peace, as Shirley mentioned, just so much peace, just those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you, trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God, we have an everlasting rock. So I thank you, Lord, you are, you are so faithful and you are our everlasting rock. In Jesus' name, thank you. Amen. And Jean, so well done. 
at 1 a.m., I think our time, or 12 or midnight, um, you were busy getting on the watch and you you pushed through and you persevered. And so well done. And we just are so grateful for you making the effort and, and being on and bringing what it is that the Lord has put on you, what you carry, because we are all richer, much richer for it. Um, we are almost at the top of the hour. So I'm going to ask Molly, um, her hand is up to close because Pastor Tony is already here and we're going to go into the debrief. So Molly, would you share and then um, wrap up in close for us and pray? Thanks. Thank you, Shirley. So grateful. I just want to thank God for our Israel family that just so through this hardest of times for Karen Davis for the worship and the Wednesday watches where she brings in and for everyone else she adds with for um, the for uh, Josie and David Silver and for uh, Kari and and for um, Carolyn Hyde and Ariel and um, Lord God, uh, even through uh, these hard times, Father, we just bless our Israel family. And we think of them and we thank you for each one, Father God. Um, thank you, Father, that you chose us and appointed us for such a time as this. And we especially give thanks and honor for Dr. Fred and Sue and for um, the watches that are people who don't come on this very regularly, the family watch, uh, the kingdom healthcare watch, the LGBTQ watch, Lord, we just remember, we just pray and thank you for each one of them. And we bless this watch that was birthed out of your heart. Father, and we wanna thank you and honor you for Shirley and whom you have appointed as a prophet in this, in this watch and Hannah, and for the words that they bring through your insight. Now, Lord, bless us as we, um, re we are refreshed in your presence. Um, times of refreshing come in your presence, Lord. So we, we, re we release that, we receive that. Uh, we thank you for that. And Lord, as we now step into the deep brief, we bless the, uh, bless the people who are invited, our guests, and we bless them and we thank you for what you're about to release to us in Jesus' name. Amen.